and there we go. Now the game stuttered a little bit because it wanted to do this sound effect and the next quest level, the next quest has started. Let's first get inside and make a little fire. I always forget that I need to keep that button pressed. Also, let's warm by the fire. And then I'm going to tell you a story, the story of the next quest. Ah, uh, the journal was right. All right, I already have a safe haven. It's time to get some food now. Maybe I'll set up a trap. It's good to have caught some caught rabbit in a stock. I would also need a spear for hunting and a knife to skin the game. Well, staying alive is essential. And this is the chapter quest that will last for the whole season because it ends with survive for a season. So now I'm going to set the rabbit trap because we can periodically get rabbits from it. And I'm going to go to sleep. So over here will be the road down leading to the main road. And over here I will... Let, let's set the rabbit trap in front, right in front of the house. Uh, other traps, rabbit trap. We need sticks. Well, luckily enough, there is some hard to see stuff over here. New level survival. So now we can set a skill point on either extraction knowledge. No, sorry, survival knowledge which um, makes us gain one more skill point for each survival activity that we do. Insensitive, which increases our temperature tolerance, or iron liver, which increases our resistance to poisoning. I tend to power game these games, to be honest. Um, as early, if, if you do these as early as you can, you will profit in the long run. So basically I'm taking the survival knowledge, and now I gain an additional skill point for everything that I do, which means all the other skills will come faster. Let us collect some more branches. There we go, 16 sticks, it says. I basically want to go to sleep because it's so dark. I don't want to use up the uh, torch. Traps, rabbit trap over here. Let's set it up, there it is. Nice little rabbit trap. And let's head inside and go to sleep. We have enough days, so we can just do that. And now in the day, we can see our nice little rabbit trap over here, waiting to catch some game. What, do you call rabbits game? Or is it just deer and the like? Okay, uh, apart from that, I want to... No, one. I need... The quest says one, but I need more. I want to create a road from here to the road well, let's keep it straight to here there we go our little road into our village panthes on the road again okay um now we need to eat something and get some more wood. This is, it's kind of weird. Sometimes this is more easy for me to select something. Sometimes it's easier to just press the corresponding number. I don't know. I'm doing it this way and the other, however I feel like. That is the middle click mouse wheel thing, by the way. And there they fall, the logs. So I'm going to craft three spears. Yep, that's easy an easy mistake to do. You need to, instead of click, you need to press R to be able to change the amount that you want to do. And that's what I meant with crafting. Now I'm stuck here for six more seconds. Three times two. There is this one kind of plant which lets you heal, and I always uh, don't find it. I, I, I walk past it, and I don't recognize it. 
So I'm picking up um, stuff in order to make a new hammer. That's the button. Because the old one is nearly used up. And... I need more sticks. Well... A stone knife. I can do that also. There it is. The skinning knife. And hunting a wild animal means we just need to assign the wooden spear to a number. Let's call it number three. Equip it and then head into the woods. Let me quick save. Because I might just be a bad player. Is that an animal? We'll see. When it runs away, then it was an animal. Nope. Because that part, that red part of the plants looked like it was a deer. So, that's my main problem. I guess, while I was running around here, you've seen lots of animals on my screen already, I did not see a single one. I am too blind to recognize the, there is a boar. So this is also kind of weird. You right click to aim and then you left click to shoot. In the most in most games, you just let go of the aim button to shoot. Ooh, aha! Yeah, I tuned down the. HP of the animals. I forgot about that because this is the first game where I also tuned down the HP of the animals. Before that I only did that with the damage. So now we're just set out to survive for the season. Mm -hmm. Let's head back to the water, have a little sip. There we go. There, it shows where my house is. <laughs> we strayed far away from home. Okay, so... One thing that I'm going to do... I'm, uh, one thing that I always do is like go back home and then check the quests. I should have checked the quests first. So let's see what what else we can do. So Alvin's story, yeah, the day has passed. So basically we can talk to those two and we can deliver the meat. Perfect, I'm going to do that first. And as I said, we need to hunt three rabbits. Let's get some more sticks. A reason for me collecting the sticks, by the way, is that later we can craft something. So I will. I have a building limit of four right now, and with the building limit of four, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to build a second house, a workshop. That's three. And the thing that you can. Um, Thresh, I think it's barn one, the thing where you, where you thresh weeds. To get the uh, kernels from them. Yeah. 
This is a little walk. And also they will send us back and forth between the different places. I remember that there is one quest which I hate most, hated most, because you have to collect lots of wood, lots of logs, it takes ages, it takes nearly the whole day, and then you're out of food and out of drink, and you need to run back home again. So, first of all, let's deliver these. I bet it's in, yeah, yeah, it's in the house. Oh, look at that. Hello, Leopold. Rosalinda. I see that you got what I need. This purse with coins is yours. Yeah, I think that should be all. A fair payment for an easy task. 25 coin, and most importantly, 20 dynasty reputation. Which is needed in order to get people into our little town. And the people are needed in order to, well, we don't want to do everything ourselves all the time, right? Okay, next quest. Let us talk to Alvin. Oh, I need to press F in order to track the quest. So, this is something you might notice in, in Morrowind. It, this is different. You don't have a quest marker. You actually need to find where things are. And you can ask people, you can ask around for actually for directions and you need to find your way using directions. This is something that um, H Bomber guy mentioned and I think it's so much true. So well, what's new, Elvin? I, I'm tired of my mother's conflict with Jaragniva. Her son Delabor won't leave my little sister Olga alone. I understand that it's just a game for him. After all, when I was in his age, I played with Dobromira, his older sister. I was a knight, with a stick instead of a sword, but I defended her honor. Like every knight does. It's adorable. Anyway, you're a fool. I think he needs something to keep him busy and away from my sister. So that you can have some peace too, huh? It would be nice. Well... As you can see, it tells me to deliver to Delabor one stick. With a stick instead of a sword. That's what Alvin said. Can we... No, we can't climb the ladder. That would be awesome. That's Jarogniva. That's the... So she sells food. Important to, to, to know because in the beginning we're going to go for money. So we need to buy food. Okay, so where is... Where's your son? Jaragniva, where's your... Oh, there he is. Delabor. Hi. Hi, you're Delabor, right? Yeah. You look very strong for your age. Have you ever thought of becoming a knight? It's my dream. Are you a knight? No, but I know a lot about them. Have you heard that all of them start learning how to fight with a wooden sword already at your age? Uh, where would I get such a sword, not a knight? It just so happens that I have one with me, a certified training wooden sword. And I can give it to you, send certificate of course, because you are clearly worthy. I'm honored! It may look in inconspicuous, but it's certainly an excellent practice weapon for an aspiring knight like you. Hands over the stick. It looks a bit like a regular stick. To surprise your opponents! And do you know what else knights do besides fighting battles? Uh, they ride horses? Uh, this as well, but most of all they protect the ladies and children from danger and make sure that no harm is done to them. Really? That sounds like a lot of work. Yes, this is the most important principle of chivalry. All right, thank you for the sword, not a knight. Now I'm going to defend the ladies and the children. You're welcome, young master. You're welcome. 
talk to Alvin. Of course, we're reporting the success over to our friend Alvin. Hey, Alvin! Hey! Hey, you're Edwin, not Alvin. Where's Alvin? And why is Alvin not called Apple? Hey, Apple. She's still sitting around here. What are you doing here all the with... Oh, I see. Uh, Dobromira, okay. Uh, anyway, I solved your problem with Talibor. Ah, so I'm running around the village with a stick. You must have an amazing gift of persuasion. This young one does not listen to anyone. You gave me the idea with that stick and night story. I got this spread from Dobromira as an apology for her brother's behavior, but I think you've earned it. Here, take it. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Sometimes she gives me things from a mother's tavern. Oh, are you close? Oh, I don't know. All right, see you soon. Well, they look pretty close. So, wait for the next summer. This quest is now basically parked. Next quest would be Unighost's story. And I always forget to activate the quest. On the other hand, finding Unighost is not that hard. He's usually either here, running around town, or in the tavern, which is way back there. Hey, Unighost! Hey! Good to see you settling in, my boy. How is life treating you lately? I guess I'm doing a different voice for him right now. I always forget the voice of, that I do for people. Not too bad. I have my own house. I don't starve and people start talking to me more and more. And that's good. I heard you picked up a hunting habit recently. I did. There's plenty of game in the woods. Is that a problem? No, no. On the contrary. We don't have any stupid laws around here that would reserve the game for the nobleman. And you could do me a favor and earn some coin, some goods, not coins. I'm listening. There's a fellow hunter of yours called Samber, living in the lodge of his own. He doesn't like me much, and he's a loner. But during his last visit in the tavern, he dropped some remarks about bands of wolves that could become a problem. Find out what he knows, and I will reward you. All right, I'll try talking to him. Dum -dee -dee. Talk to Sambor. So this is this one is taking me far away because Sambor is up here. So now I'm going to prepare a little bit for for the farming thing. So I'm going to set up a nine by nine field of um, flax because that makes lots of money if you earn it if you reap it and you can make clothing and stuff like that later and um, I might set up more fields because there is I, I will get crops as rewards later um, so I need for each field I need um, fertilizer which I need to buy at 10 gold per unit basically per field and I can buy seven so I need to buy at least nine which means I need to make money somehow. And luckily, these sticks here are worth one gold if I sell them. A stone is worth one gold. And um, where was it? Technology, somewhere around here. No, let me, let me see. So this is what we're going to do later. This is one turns one stick into a ladle or a spoon, which is worth three, thus making it worth threefold uh no i think that was all tab um i think i already know this recipe yeah of course it's it's that the stone skinning knife which takes five sticks two stones and sells at i think 11 so basically you put in seven you get 11 fit seven eleven which is a fitness joint over here um but let's first have something to eat. Let's try that dried meat. Let's eat a lot of dried meat. Oh no, my stomach hurts. Ah, that is... I'm so bloated from dried meat right now. Okay. Um, 
So I always keep forgetting who sells what. If I remember correctly, UniGhost sells um, these things, um, tools and stuff. So we need to find the person who sells manure, well, basically fertilizer, and the person who's, I think the fertilizer salesman is over here with the cows. Sobimir, Sobimir, show me your wares. Fertilizer, as I said, for a price of 10. So I can now politely start forgetting that Sobimir sells fertilizer. Sobimir, Sobimir, Sobimir. I'll mix them up anyway. As for the flax seeds, I'll get them over in Borovo. And I'm going to get there now. Those knives need stones, which I will gather on my way there. Just by, you know, looking left and right from the road and collecting the stones. Later, later it'll be easier if we have, once we have the workshop, this will also, like if we have the workshop and do the, the spoons or the ladles, I don't know how to do a poll thing in Twitch, or else I would have created a poll, which one I should use, because from the perspective of um, of making money, it's the same. They are both, they use the same resources, they give you the same amount of money, it's just basically two different types of spoons. Hello. Ah, maple branches. No, I wanted, I thought this was a stone. 25 sticks, so that's five knives. That would also be a very nice place to build a building here. Five knives. Oh, that that's the one that I didn't even see that the plant was there. But that, that was the plant that heals you. The one that I always oversee. Always. So there's this mode where the game highlights um, things that you can pick up in yellow. This is the plant, by the way. This is the broadleaf plantain, which heals 10 hit points. Another way to heal, by the way, is um, just sleeping. You don't heal full, but you heal a little amount. A little amount. Well, let me have a little drink. The dried meat dried out my throat. So let's have a little sip of fresh water it this water is so clear i just want to go in there and take a swim on the other hand it'll surely be very very cold eight which means i can have 40 sticks 35 37 39 42 there we go let's craft a full amount of four glorious stone skinning knives Enough time to take a sip and refill my water. There we go. Yeah, this is the, the dub bridge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the place where I first made my home. <laughs> so it might be a bit inefficient here, but that's just okay. Um, I just, I just love the scenery, and I'm not even noticing any stutter of the image, which is pretty awesome. Fifty sticks. That means I can have twenty stones. The mushrooms also sell for one a piece. 20 stones and craft 10. Is it? No, it's one stone per hammer, right? Um, I could just check here. No, it's two stones per hammer. <laughs> so, exactly this is where I started to build last time. Or the first time, that is. First two times. Because I restarted the game when I could not open the door was like right at the beginning and then I started playing at the same location 
And I basically wanted to try different things. But I did not smoke funny things. That is the text, right? Something sipping whiskey out the bottle, not thinking about tomorrow. Yep. That's that's my, just my brain. Song texts keep popping in my head. And sometimes the melody of some other song, which I actually sung in choir. Cause you're not gonna stop the rain by complaining. Oh, 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 I'm over cucumbered. Let us remove some cucumbers, namely stones. Uh, let's try if that knife is weighing less than its ingredients. I just nearly, nearly by inches poured water over my keyboard. Luckily, I did not. It just went on the table. Oh, yeah, it, it went actually went on the arrow keys. And that is too bad because it's a very expensive cherry MX board with brown keys. <coughs> Whew, that was a shock. <coughs> oh. Still not a reason to not stay hydrated, honestly. <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to be fine. Oh, I never was coughing that bad from... Oh, no, that's wrong. I coughed that bad once, actually at work, with coffee in my mouth. Which I did not want to spew out onto the colleague that I was talking to. So I leaned over the trash can and then spat everything in the trash can. And make... I was looking for somewhere where I could go. <clears throat> And my colleague was looking at me funnily already, and then I spewed the coffee from... The oh, that was so... Uh, so weird. <clears throat> well, thing is that my colleague was not saying anything about that. He was just genuinely worried about me, which is one, one more reason why I love this. I just want to say why I love this family, because... Yeah, the company does feel like a family to me. <clears throat> yeah, it's getting better. Phew. I need to, um, real quick, put some nose spray in my nose. Because, of course, from coughing and, uh, coughing and everything, now my nose clogged up. <clears throat> so, where was I? <clears throat> Before the incident. Trademark. Yeah, the keyboard is a Cherry MX-3, I think. Uh, so, yeah, it says Cherry MX Board 3 on the keyboard <clears throat> with brown keys. And I don't find one of these anymore. And when you want brown Cherry MX keys, you need to buy some... So this is an office keyboard. You need to buy a gaming keyboard, and these are like 100 and something euros, <clears throat> which is hella expensive. I just want keys which have this haptic feedback and a decent, you know, keys that you can actually push in. Uh, why is he crouching in front of her? I just want to know what she sells. Ida is <clears throat> the animal stuff woman. I'm going to sell her this. And I've never used that, so... So with this keyboard, typing is <clears throat> a whole lot easier. Okay, let us see here. Falibor. <clears throat> Let's see what you have. He has tools. The shovel is not interesting for this run because I don't have any tree stumps to clear in order to build roads, which I had last time. <clears throat> and everything else I can basically, I can basically craft. So... 
not interesting and that's the only <coughs> the only traders Now, of course, since it's getting dark, it's getting more dangerous to go out. So I'm taking this. <clears throat> and not from an old man. Where did I buy <clears throat> the flex seats? last time. Well, we were going to come across it could be in Denica. Where we'll have to go also this spring. So we're currently in spring. <coughs> Throat is still acting. There's, there's still a bit water. And it takes a while until I can have actually cough that all out. But it's okay now. <clears throat> so it's getting really, really dark. I hope you can actually still see things. <clears throat> I can see on my screen, but I see on the other screen where the recording preview is showing that it's way darker. Um, I really hope that you can see anything. But there is a light ahead from a hut. <clears throat> or rather from a fire before a hut. And this means that this is where we want to go. The cottage of the hermit. Sambor. <laughs> Quick save. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's what happens if you put water into your keyboard. The space bar and the F5 key are now basically linked together. <sighs> Damn it. I hope that this will go away once um, <clears throat> it dries out. I had to clean the keyboard once because I spilled... Um, Lemonade on it. Who are you and what do you want? I'm Resimir, Jordan's nephew. I heard you have concerns regarding the wolves. Jordan, a great man, and it's a shame that we lost him. If you're only half the man he was, you might be worth my time. So what is it? About the wolves. Uh, there are two packs that have grown big too fast. One has crossed the plains between Hornica and Kostovia. It's only a matter of time until they will be biting Unigo's rotten flesh. The other one is gathering around the lake in the south. I bet they will start coming to Denik. Sorry, to Denika soon. Shall we kill them? Kill in a pack? <laughs> you would need a large hunting party for that. And even then we would lose a lot of good men. No, but the villagers should be alerted and prepared. Sure, I'll make sure that they're prepared. <clears throat> So, now we are to head back to Unighost. Sadly, we can't take any of this stuff. <clears throat> ah, it's no longer... It's, it is still linked. Too bad. <clears throat> Every time I jump, it saves. <clears throat> so I'm still going to drink something now. Actually, help my breath. <clears throat> so I wouldn't accidentally inhale again. I'm walking the wrong road. <clears throat> I was walking the wrong road. 
Hello, dear. That's what you get for just standing there. I mean, <laughs> the bug just stood there. How could I not? Maybe because I was going to carry too much? No. <clears throat> Now I can't run anymore. Okay, the keyboard is acting up. It's pressing the backwards key now. 